Welcome to this customer installation briefing for the Riello UPS Netman 204 communications card. The Netman 204 is an SNMP enabled network communication card which enables remote monitoring of your Riello UPS. Before starting the installation, first check the contents of the Netman 204 box to ensure that you have the supplied USB cable and CD-ROM driver disk. If the card has not been pre-installed, then please locate the communication slot on your UPS. The position can vary depending upon your model of UPS. Once you have located the communication slot, remove the blanking plate and insert the Netman 204 card. Then take the USB cable supplied in the box and plug into the USB port on the Netman card. Plug the other end of the USB cable into the PC or laptop you are using to configure. You will need to install the USB driver on the PC or laptop. First, insert the CD supplied with the Netman card into your PC or laptop. Then, navigate to Device Manager on your PC or laptop using either the Search Facility or Control Panel. In Device Manager, find the device labelled as Netman 204 under Other Devices. Then, right-click and select Update Driver. Select Browse My Computer for driver software and when prompted, navigate to the driver folder on the supplied CD-ROM. This will now proceed to install the driver. If a warning message from Windows is shown stating that the publisher of the driver is unverified, please ignore this and select Install this driver software anyway. Now you will need to use a piece of software on your PC called a terminal emulator. On pre-Windows 7 PCs, you will find it from the main screen. Select the Start menu, then select All Programs or Programs, followed by Accessories and then Communications. In the Communications menu, select the program called Hyper Terminal. If you don't have a terminal emulator installed or another operating system like Linux, then you can download and install a free copy from the internet. There are many free terminal emulator software tools that can be used. Once you have your terminal emulation software ready and a cable properly connected, you need to verify which comms port you are connected to. For example, using Windows, you can check this using Device Manager under the Ports, COM and LPT drop-down menu. When you load your terminal emulation software, you will be prompted to enter a name for the connection. Once you have entered a name for the connection, select OK. Note that any name can be used as this connection will not be saved. When prompted, select the relevant COM port from the drop-down menu of the Connections menu. This is the COM port previously identified in Device Manager. When prompted, configure the port settings from the drop-down menus as follows. Bits per second, select 115200. Data bits, select 8. Parity, select none. Stop bits, select 1. Flow control, select none or off. Once the Netman has booted, press enter on your PC or laptop keyboard. You will then see a message prompting you to enter your login name and password. Please note it can take up to five minutes until the card is booted up and ready. When you see the login screen, you need to enter admin as your login and press enter. You will then be asked for the password, which by default is admin, all in lowercase. Then hit enter and the main configuration menu will appear. From the configuration screen, use your keyboard cursors to select setup and then press enter. You will need to set up the Netman card to communicate with the UPS. To do this, select UPS config and then press enter. Enter the PRTK code on the UPS. This is usually on a label situated on the rear of the unit. There are two types of PRTK code. For the multi-century and all smaller units, it's GPSER11201RU. And for the Master Plus units, it's SENTR19601RU. Once the PRTK code is entered, you can assign a name to the UPS if required. The UPS address should be left as 1. For standard communication, it is not necessary to insert the UPS serial number. Once done, press Escape and then press Y to confirm changes and return to the main screen. 
Now that the card has been set up to communicate with the UPS, you will need to set up the card to interface with your local network. Select the menu item IP Config and then enter the IP address details which should be assigned by your network administrator. Once you've entered your IP address, press Escape and then press Y to accept settings. Press Enter to return to the main menu. A data screen appears which is for information only and is not the updated configuration data. This can be ignored unless your network administrator needs the MAC address. Press Escape to return to the main screen. Finally, you just need to confirm the Netman card is communicating with your local area network. To do this, you need to enable the web page service in the Netman card. Scroll down the main menu to Services 1 and press Enter. Then scroll down to Activation 1 and press Enter again. Now select Enable HTTP and press Enter to change this setting to On in green. Then press Escape and Enter Y to accept changes. Press Escape to get back to the main screen. Scroll down to the Save and Load option and press Enter. Then press Enter again on Save Changes. The Netman card will now reboot with the new settings. You can now close the terminal emulator and remove the USB cable from the Netman card. Connect the Netman card to the local area network by using an RJ45 connection. Finally, open a web browser and in the address bar type the assigned static address for the Netman card and press enter. You will be prompted for a username and password. The username is admin in lowercase, the password is admin in lowercase. When you see this screen displaying input and output voltage values, this confirms that all communications are active and present. Now you have established connection and set up your PRTK code, you can refer to the Netman 204 manual to customize all your settings. Thanks for watching, and if you need any further information, please contact us via email at service at riello-ups.co.uk.